Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about our slope intercept form worksheet. You can get the slope intercept form worksheet using this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Here we are at the first problem on our slope intercept form worksheet. The first problem asks us to identify what m is and what b is. So in terms of slope intercept form, you have to first know that slope intercept form is written as y equals mx plus b. m is the slope or what represents the slope and b is the y-intercept. So b represents the y-intercept. So when you look at our problem for number one it gives us y equals 15x minus 9. So if we were to overlay slope intercept form above our problem given to us you will notice that m and b line up with certain things in the equation that was given to us. So if you look at the first problem, you can tell that m and 15 are located in the same position. So that means that the slope for this equation is 15. You will also notice that b lines up with 9. So our y-intercept is going to be 9. But you have to be careful with both slope and y-intercept because if they are negative, you have to include the negative. So if we look back at our problem, we have 15x minus 9. So this minus here has to be included anytime you have a negative number. So the y-intercept is really going to be negative 9. Moving on to number 4, our equation is y equals negative 77 minus 18x. We already know that slope-intercept form is equal to y equals mx plus b. And we know that m is the slope and we know that b is the y-intercept. It's also important to point out that you can also write slope-intercept form as y equals b plus mx and the rules will not change. y-intercept will still be b and slope will still be representative of the letter m. So just because you rewrite it from y equals mx plus b to y equals b plus mx it doesn't change what each thing represents. So our b here will still be the y-intercept and then the coefficient on the x will still be the slope. So if we look back at our equation, we're given y equals negative 77 minus 18x. Now this time, our equation is written in slope-intercept form that has the b first and then the mx after it. So the y-intercept comes first and the slope comes after it. And the reason I know the slope comes after it is because the slope is always attached to the x. So m will always be the coefficient of the x and the y-intercept will always be the constant by itself. So now that we know that our equation is written in y equals b plus mx, if you look at the slope, the slope is going to be the negative 18 because it's the coefficient on the x. And if you look at the y-intercept, the y-intercept is the constant that is not attached to the x, which in this case is negative 77. The second part of our slope-intercept form worksheet gives us the slope and the y-intercept, and then we have to write it into the equation in slope-intercept form. We know that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, or y equals b plus mx. But the y-intercept will always be the b, and the slope will always be represented by the m. So it doesn't matter how you write it, you will still use b for y-intercept and m for slope. So if we look, we are already given our slope, because we know m is slope, and we're already given our y-intercept, because we know that b is y-intercept. So in order to write our equation out, all we have to do is take our slope, which in this case is negative 7, and plug it in for m, so we have negative 7x because we know that m goes with x. And then we have our y-intercept of 32, so we will just include our plus 32 at the end. And that's going to be the equation. It's important to note you could also write it as y equals 32 minus 7x. So that our b comes first, so this would be the b this time, and then this would be the m. But whatever you do, you have to include the negative with the 7 because 
our slope is negative 7. So either way you want to write it is correct. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.